Oh no, mate. It's not oh, going. he's stuck oh. in there. Poor little fella. Oh, Can you buddy. give him a push or will he take that as an aggro? Well, I'm thinking I might be able to kill him from behind and he won't be able to hit me. <laughs> but I'm going to save my game first because the last time I tried this, I died very quickly. That's so... Isn't that cheating? Just going back to your last save? No, it's called save scrubbing. And I love it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he turned around. Oh, oh he got me good. <laughs> He's still stuck in there. <laughs> oh shit! I'm just trying to. His eyes turn red. I'm just trying to coax you out, friend. <laughs> <laughs> just trying to help. I'm a good bloke. Oh, I did not like that one bit. I feel kind of bad. That wasn't very nice of me. I did bonk the hell out of him though. Did you see that, everybody? Bonk right on the bonker. <laughs> I need you. I want Sapo. Well, go to the sticks. The sticks have sap, not the ground. <laughs> sticks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to talk about the grey man? Oh, do I ever. Any excuse to talk about my, my good friend, Mr. Gosling? You're a big fan of Ryan Gosling, aren't you? Who's not? Oh, you have been. Well, he did The Notebook. Were you a big fan of The Notebook? Am I ever? I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> this is bothering me. I need to do something with this. Recently. Why did you, Why did you want to watch it? Did you Did Was it just me? I said I wanted to watch it. I'd heard a lot about it. Um, I'd seen previews for it. Yeah. And I thought, um, if I'm watching that, I can't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First thing for me. Mm. The Grey Get. Sorry. The title. Mm -hmm. It's spelt differently to the way we spell it in Australia. Oh, is it G-R-A-Y? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we yeah. spell grey G-R-E-Y. Yeah, we do. And it confuses me every time I try to type grey. Yeah, it's so weird, isn't it? Yeah. I think that comes down to... And we've been talking about uh, etymology and the origin of words and stuff. Mm. So we, say, we spell it G-R-E-Y... Because we're not stupid. <laughs> I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> it is pronounced grey. So grey. you got to pronounce gray. it like uh, King well, Charles would. Well, you don't have to roll the R. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the grey man. I can't remember in the film why he was called the grey man, though. So they used to, they referenced it a couple of times where they were like, um, like we're going to make you into a super agent. You're going into the grey. Like um, you're disappearing sort of thing. Right. right. Yeah. You're a nobody. Yeah, exactly. Nobody like, can find you because you're nobody. Being in the born program. Mm. Don't know. But check out my house. Look at this. This part of the wing is open for some sunlight. Did you do that deliberately? Mm-hmm. This part is also open, but bigger than the other side. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how it is. This is a door. Look at this. Pretty good that you got a door. Where's the, your kitchen? Uh, over here. In the kitchen. Oh, so nice. bigger, bigger space here, so I put the kitchen here for ventilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoiled meat! Oh, oh I can't no. eat that, can I? It has another use. Fertilizer. It's fertilizer. I can grow stuff in this game? Oh. Oh, you can make a little garden patch. Mm, maybe we could farm dandelions. Anyway. The thing on. is, every time, like any time that you would grow something in this game, unlike Dreamlight Valley, it would be like <laughs> 6 to 20 times as tall as you. <laughs> yeah, true. Anything that you grow and harvest. Yeah. Imagine trying <laughs> to sell. It's not like a nice little garden bed that you have here of like all your little lettuces. It would be like... Three times the size of your house, one lettuce. <laughs> yeah, imagine trying to explain to Goofy at 3 a.m. in the morning why you need to sell him a 10 foot dandelion instead of. And every time you want to plant a seed, you need to get a truck to get that one seed in. <laughs> get it in the boop, ground. Boop, boop. <laughs> Goofy's just waking up to that soon. Gosh, not again! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
<laughs> That's probably my best oh, goofy impression I've ever done, so I'll be happy with that. <laughs> such, such a good visual. <laughs> Back in your yeah. truck up with a scene. <laughs> goofy, like, a red eyed. <laughs> Dragging himself out of bed. Oh. <laughs> Do you know who, who wrote The Grey Man? I know that it was the people who did. Um, Endgame and Avengers... Was that directed? Other one? Oh, maybe, yeah. Who we got? Directors. Anthony Russo. Oh, yeah, the Russo brothers. And Joe Russo. Russo, is it? They pronounce it Russo? I think so, yeah. Anthony Russo and Joe Russo. There was a girl in my high school and her last name was Russo. Let's talk to her. Spelt the same. Spelt the same, but uh, pronounced differently, I guess. I thought they were um, the Rousseau brothers, yeah. Mark, and yeah, the writers, Joe, Joe Rousseau was one of them, and Christopher Marcus. Chris Mark. And others, it says. And, and others. others. Yeah. Oh, why can't I click on their names? That would be useful. The others. <laughs> the others. <laughs> yeah, the grey men. <laughs> what did the Rousseau brothers... Um, Avengers. Did they? Yeah, so they did Endgame and Infinity Wars. You they are best known time. for directing four films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Captain America, The Winter oh, Soldier. Oh, uh, okay. Have you seen it? The second one? I don't know. I think people the Winter like, Soldier. I think they like Winter Soldier people. Is yeah. that the first one? That's no, the first one's Captain America, then it's Captain America, Winter Soldier. Oh, and then Captain America, Civil War is 2016. Yeah. And then it's so Captain they did America, that one too. Iron Man. Um, so they didn't do Captain America the first one, just the first, the second and third one. Right. Then they did Avengers Infinity War. Yeah. And they did, and they did Avengers Endgame. Yep. Which grossed over two point seven nine eight billion dollars worldwide, becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. That's some fucking walking around money, that. So the Grey Man was written and directed by these people. Yes. So Endgame, Endgame level, Endgame level directing and writing. Wow, that's pretty insane. Yeah, it's pretty bizarre seeing that like those Avengers films. Aren't, they directed those films. I don't know if they crazy. wrote them. They're wow, crazy good. They're fine. Well, yeah, they're fine. They're I think probably the, okay. Their success is really going to come down to people loving one of or two of like the multiple movies that culminate in the Avengers, right? Yeah. Like, you want to see your favourite character in that film. Right? Yeah. Is that how it would work? I think so. I mean, that's... If, if you're thinking... Not huge on the old... Uh... Oh, yeah, okay. So, if you were write, writing mm-hmm. an enormous franchise... He's still in there. <laughs> go kill him. <laughs> he if gets want, me. If you want him. He bonks Or me just good. back up. He hey, can't right. come out to get you. Just hit him and back up. Sorry I booked you that time. I love you. I'll push you out. Come on. I'll push you. Come on. Don't you need his parts? I do need his parts. Oh, just kill him. Inside me. (laughs) (laughs) Hit him and run. And then hit him and run. And then hit him and run. I ain't got time for that. I'm building a house. (laughs) Okay. Well, My house is built. If you were writing... Yeah. ...an enormous universe... Mm. ...of multiple different characters... Mm. ...wouldn't the best thing to do be to write all these different characters and backstories... ...you get... A enormous range of audience, right? So you'd get like a, a bunch of people into that film, and a, and a people and a who love this, people who love that. Yeah, a, a a different type of people into that film, and like they've really covered a lot of different demographics, right? That's great, isn't it? And all of those demographics want to see that character in this one film. Which character? Whatever the character they are very into. Oh, yeah, yeah. They want to see him so you, in the biggest you film. You fucking love Thor because you want to bone Thor Hemsworth, right? Mm, Thor Hemsworth only. So you're going to watch Avengers? None of the other Hemsworths. <laughs> Thor Hemsworth, other Hemsworth, and neither Hemsworth. It's pretty fucking smart, though, really. Oh, no, they definitely... They, they, they knew what they were doing. They don't even need to make a good film. They don't even... Mm. Endgame doesn't even need to be good. It just needs to be there, and just needs to be as good as the other films. But it's got all the characters. Okay. Like, some people might absolutely love the Captain America stuff. 
And then other people might Americans fucking love like the Iron Man stuff. And then other people might really love the Hulk stuff. Or whatever. And Does on anyone a, and really on a like that? And then people are like, If oh, anyone in chat really loves X-Men. Hulk stuff, <laughs> can you just shoot us a text? There's so many... And basically <laughs> explain yourself. <laughs> There's so many Hulk remakes. <laughs> Remember when they made the Hulk with... Um, it, Eric, they, Banner? Eric Banner. That's Eric Banner was the first time. Yeah. And, and then, then it they was were Edward like, Norton. Yeah, and then and they were like, it's... I didn't like that first film they made of The Hulk with Eric Banner. Eric Banner so I'm going to make it again. Classic but Australian. With Edward Norton. <laughs> full frontal star Eric Banner <laughs> with Eric Norton. And then but moved how... on to Mark Ruffalo. That's so. But they like... did that with Spider Man as well. There's so many Spider Man. Oh, there is. But then they put them all in the same film, which is really cool. <laughs> Hulk multiverse? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next one, isn't it? Do you reckon Eric Banner would do it? Eric Banner do anything. Of them now. Eric Banner do anything for a paycheck at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in Collingwood the other day. You I, did not. I did. I saw him in Collingwood the other day at a urinal with his pants all the way around his ankle. <laughs> what's the what's the um what's Grey Man on Wikipedia? Grey Man is a 2022 American action thriller film directed by Anthony and Joe Russo. Russo, from a screenplay... Maybe. The latter, co-wrote with Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely. Ah, McFeely. That guy would have got a lot of shit at high school. Oh, yeah, yeah. Christopher McFeely. No, yeah. <laughs> like, without a doubt. Like, uh, I was a nice kid at school and I would have teased him. McFeely... <laughs> As long as he doesn't become a teacher, I think he's alright. Oh, and it's based on the 2009 novel of the same name by Mark Greeny. I didn't know it was a novel. Greeny. Sounds, it very much seems like, uh, yeah, like a Jason Bourne thing or like a, yeah. Matt, Matt Riley does stuff like yep. this. and on exactly a, On right. a larger scale, Matt Riley generally does stuff on a much oh, larger oh, scale. I had it for a second there. What do we got? IMBD gave it a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Mm-hmm. Rotten Tomatoes gave it 46%. Right, okay, yeah. That's pretty low. Mm. I'm thinking. Go on, give us more. And Metacritic gives it 49%. Listen. <laughs> now we know. <laughs> when I think less than 50% on Metacritic, IMDb, all of these things. I mean, I probably wouldn't normally go for less than fifty percent. When I think of those films, they're films I don't want to watch. Generally, yeah. This is a film that I would tell people to watch. Right. I think it's, I think it's quite funny. I thought it was <laughs> like decent. I think it's been advertised wrong for starters. Yeah, it was almost a basically straight to Netflix film, isn't it? And I'm always, I guess. Me personally, I think I'm always just a little bit skeptical about but the it, it ones. Wasn't, that are straight. It, it wasn't. wasn't straight it wasn't. It was limited it release. Was it? Yeah, I think. I think it's. It actually got a release. I was going to say it's not straight to Netflix. It's Netflix produced. They released it as it's, if it were Stranger Things. I said it had. I said it had a limited release somewhere. Really? So I'd, oh, here's good knowledge. An adaptation of Greeny's novel was originally announced in 2011, with James Gray set to direct Brad Pitt and and later Charlize Theron in a gender swapped role. In the Grey Man. Yeah. Do you think that fell through because James Gray's last name is Gray, and they were like, "Too confusing. I can't deal with that." <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> is it spelt the wrong way no, for the it's film? The same, okay. same, same as the film. How? In, yeah, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Though neither version ever came to fruition. There you go. Does that mean... The more you know. So Netflix... So I went through uni in 2015 as a mature age student. You know, one of those <laughs> people that sits up the front and isn't annoying at all. Uh, <laughs> and that's when Netflix finally got to Australia. And Netflix was like touted as... It's finally here. Mm. We're going to have this breadth of... Of content. Do you know what Netflix was first? It was like send a DVD to people. In yeah, the mail. it was a mailing service. Yeah. yeah. And you it's had to crazy. promise to send it back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, like that's how all libraries work, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I guess like, so. You get charged. 
get charged. Yeah. Oh man, I feel terrible. There was a video store that uh, I racked up a late, late return debt at, and uh, I kept delaying paying it because they, I like every time I went in to hire, get a new video, video as it was at the time. Oh, maybe it was a video. Maybe I had DVDs then, and they would just be like. Oh, you've got some late fees from the previous two or three times that you returned oh, things. My mum's gonna pay. And that. yeah, and I was like, oh, I don't have the money I'm right yeah. now. And then before I paid it, they went under. <laughs> they oh went fast. no, it was you. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, is it my fault? Did I do this to this company? You know you did. That's horrible. It's so bad. Did you keep you up at night? Yeah, just like. But I tell that, you what, that horrible guilt for the rest of my life that probably, I killed a company. It probably keeps them up at night that they enabled you. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Oh, okay." I think I must have been like sixteen or something. Don't worry about it. Pay it next time. They said. So Ryan Gosling is yeah. in the film. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Top five Would Ryan you, Gosling films. Go. Yeah. What do you reckon he's known for on IMBD? Uh, the Notebook. No. Well, what? that's not the first one. The oh, first oh, whoa, 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 Really? Not the first no. one? It's not even in the top five. Really? Oh, is that? La La Land. Yes. That is the number one. Yeah. If you're watching this, if you like La La Land... <laughs> Don't judge people for liking La La Land. No, you can like whatever... It's not nice. You can like whatever art you want. Oh, it's a but I'd like to ex- I'd like you to explain yourself. Sto- I'd like to, okay, all right. I'd like to understand. Story time. <laughs> We're not big fans of musicals. It's not they're not they're not easy to sit through. I like musicals in a theater. AJ's a musician, um, and uh, I wonder. If and an that, actor. Does that, <laughs> does that count towards? <laughs> does that count towards you hating musicals? I'm not sure. Is that what it is? I don't know. What the musician? You part? hate musicals. I like in in the theater. Or you like them in a theatre? Yeah, when you've got a pit and a live band. The live, the live, the live aspect. Yeah, playing along. Well, boop, 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 boop. I was like, this film has won all these awards. Mm-hmm. Or an award. I don't know. It had, it won something. Best film. Yeah. Something. Most most Ryan Gosling's in a film. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Anyway, I was like, it's, it's won something, so we should probably go and see it. Like, we'd usually go and see the winning film. This is in a time in our life where we were going to the cinema once oh, Shit, I don't even well. know what it's won. It won Best Film. <laughs> no, so it, they thought that it... That was the big stuff up here where Moonlight won, and the guy got up there and got the wrong card or something. Oh. Um, and read the oh. wrong thing, and he gave it to them, and I they came I... up and accepted it, and then they were like, actually, you guys didn't win. Like, Moonlight One, which is a fucking beautiful film. <laughs> it was a really good film. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And it tackles a whole breadth of... It uh, won six awards, La La what? Land. What did it win? Best sound- it would have won Best Soundtrack. Oscar, Best Performance, Emma Stone, by an actress in leading role, Emma Stone. Yeah, okay. Got Os- an Oscar Best Achievement in Directing, Damien Chazelle. What? What's the achievement? What did he do? Did he kill 50 people on set or something? He directed it. What's the it. achievement? He directed it. What's the best <laughs> best achievement? Best a- best achievement in directing, it says. In directing. <laughs> I would fucking say that no, he didn't. <laughs> I'd say Kubrick or Villeneuve probably has or something. <laughs> <laughs> fucking did, Nolan would have done Did 2049 come out the same year? No, Moonlight did. Why wasn't that? Oh, well, that was. Moonlight won Best Picture because it's a fucking great film. Probably should have got Best Director. And tackles well some really well. hard like questions on masculinity and homosexuality, and it's fucking excellent. It also got. Oh my god, it got so many Academy Awards. La La Land? Or did they win like BAFTAs more. and stuff like that? No, like 11. It would have gotten no, the soundtrack. 11, 12, 13. Probably choreography, something Three. like that. There's like 14 Oscars here. So we've got leading role, Emma Stone, directing, cinematography. Win or nominated? Music, written for motion pictures. Winners? Pictures. These are winners, yeah. Um, best achievement in music. Do you know what the Academy Awards love? Mm. Films about Hollywood. Oh, yeah, true And that. that's exactly what that film is. They do love that shit, don't yeah. they? And it's like... 
the least least relatable fit. Yeah, it is. The majority of the world. Only yep. the people who are... But, oh, it turns out the people who are writing it <laughs> fucking love it. Well, the pe- the, yeah, the people who are deciding on who gets the award. Yep. They are in they that industry, I guess. They absolutely adore that shit. Yeah. Oh, you could you can make some wool. <laughs> yeah. And then knit it. I can make silk. That's so cool. I want a spinning that, wheel. That Maybe. is pretty fucking cool. Can I, I, I can make you a spinning wheel. Really? Yeah, I've got a car engine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> How fast are your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I need some pebblets and I need some... Well, there's a plant fiber right there. Well, all right. Settle down. Yelling at now, me. Now, have you got enough? No. I didn't yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> don't over-exaggerate. <laughs> Over exaggerates are funny. I know. Over exaggerate is already. Yeah, good. it's kind of like an oxymoron. Isn't it? <laughs> All right, so I need still rocks, a, rocks still and fabs. Still a thing. Over exaggeration. Here we go. So I'm not accusing you of exaggerating. I'm accusing you of over exaggerating. <laughs> Gaslighting is not a thing. I told you, you're delusional. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, where were we with... We were talking about the Grey Man still. La La, we got sidetracked Oh, with La yeah. La so he's done La La Land. So yeah. Ryan Gosling has done La La Land is where we were up to. La La Land's a dog shit film for dog shit people. Anyway. So then the next <laughs> apparently biggest one he's done is Blue Valentine. Oh, man. Jesus. that That's what he's known for. Look at that yeah. show. It's pretty good. Oh, Have yeah. You, you haven't seen Blue Valentine? Have I seen? haven't, no. Fucking chameleon in that as well. He's brilliant. <laughs> Did that she, win Academy Awards? It should have. Good. Michelle she, Williams is brilliant. She was in Brokeback Mountain. Yep. Cindy and Dean's dysfunctional marriage fails to stand the test of time as they try to raise a young daughter and rekindle their relationship. That sounds really sad. Yeah. It's not the most upbeat film. I'm not going to lie to you. Should we rekindle our relationship? Nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Blue Valentine, where he was in, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Shit, yeah. Yeah, that was that was good. Last and the real girl. Is he known for that? No. Nah. Drive. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's more more famous of a film than Last. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's mostly like that film is you could call it Drive, or you could call it Ryan Gosling wearing sunglasses. <laughs> it's pretty much the same film. Like you know exactly what you're getting out of that. The picture of him <clears throat> isn't even with sunglasses on. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. It's like a synthwave nightmare. (laughs) (laughs) Chris Evans. Is in The Grey Grey Man. Man. Yeah, Yeah, he's in The Grey Man. (laughs) Yeah. Now this is... So he's just like the known fours are stupid for this one. Because it's just like... Captain America. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not the first one, but Captain what America else? Winter Soldier. <laughs> or like, is it Endgame because it made yeah. the most money? Yeah, the Avengers. Yeah. What? I don't know. This is the, probably the first one. Is... Captain America. Snowpiercer on there? Or Marvel for Chris Evans. We've no Snowpiercer? Avengers. No. Was he no. in Snowpiercer? He's the main character in Snowpiercer. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? No. Uh, Knives Out? Red Knives scene. Out. Is Red Sea. Fucking scene. sick film. Knives Out was good. I reckon maybe like... There's a sequel coming. Is it really? Mm. I reckon maybe about 70 Sorry. to 80% of the way through the film, I was just like, I can't believe I'm still watching this. This is going nowhere. I don't know where it's going to go. No, nah, so you want to was... see Daniel Craig talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Johnson's a very good director. I think mm. he got stitched up with the... What's that second Star Wars called after The Force Awakens? Oh. Where they're just getting chased the whole time, and it's really shit. Is that the one with the girl? They've all got girls in them. <laughs> <laughs> the girl? The Force Awakens, and then... Yeah. Number eight. Where they're getting chased the whole time, there's a casino oh, chase the casino scene. Cha- oh, I didn't like that one. That, Oof, was a good, that was really bad. It was really not good. That was just out of nowhere for no reason. I didn't get how it tied in at all. It tied in because they wanted to sell that toy. The toy. It was like Like a weird animal thing. horse thing, thing. yeah. Yeah. I'm so fatigued with Star Wars. We're watching Andor and you're loving it. 
Ender is the best thing that's happened to Star Wars in a long time. It's great. It's Small great. stories in a big universe work. It, they must have... Oh my god, I'm dead. Why are you walking Run. slow? <laughs> I was out of stamina. Oh. Uh. Don't go in the water. Go in the water. They swim. Oh. Aww. So yeah, I guess I just prefer... Hot bum. <laughs> Yes, I just Ooh, prefer... Mosquito. Oh, Fuck! A mosquito's dangerous. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. I got pinned on something. Yeah, mosquitoes mm. hate me. They hate me too. <laughs> anyway, why are we talking about that? We were talking about Chris Evans. Oh, yeah. He's in a lot of stuff. He was in Thor. Yeah. We're discounting... Oh, yeah, he's in Snowpiercer. We're discounting all the Marvel films because that's just all he's known for, really. Snowpiercer is a good film. Anna de Amas... Yeah, I know Andrew Ramos. So I She's from Nice Out. Okay. Well, I don't know her. So She's the... <gasps> she was in Blade Runner. Because I, I, yeah, thought, I thought when I saw out. her, I was like, I've seen her before. Is she the, um, like the little... Hologram. Hologram thing? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. And she's in Knives Out. Oh, she was born in Cuba. Yeah, she's very, very stunning. She's gorgeous. Billy Bob Thornton. Definitely in that film. He was born in 1955. Mm. He's the same age as my mum. Is Billy Bob Thornton your mum? No. Ah. Oh. You're just the same age. Right. <laughs> born, Sorry. In, born in the same year. And do you know what else happened in 1955? Your mum was born. Yes. Do you know what else happened in 1955? Your mum's parents made your mum. <laughs> <laughs> no, they probably made her in 1954. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I was born in May. <laughs> <laughs> Lady and the Tramp came out in 1955. Is that right? Yeah, one of my favourite films of all time. If you watch it now, you would wonder why. Known for... Holy shit, I can get this. Gone. Sling Blade? Yes! Did you look at that on my phone? Just no. Like, really? Yeah, was, have you not seen Sling Blade? No, I haven't. 19... Oh, we got to watch Sling Blade? I haven't even heard of it. <laughs> 1996. God, weird. This seems like stuff I was not watching when I was 10 years old. Got a bad on my page. That's how he always talks. That's how he talks in Sling Blade. Uh, that's how he always talks. Man, that's a sick film. <laughs> Fuck, we should watch Sling Blade. Well, Honestly? Carl Childers, a simple yeah. man hospitalised since his childhood murder of his mother and her lover... <laughs> oh, God, does it say good, does it? <laughs> <laughs> ...is released <laughs> to start <laughs> a new life in a small town. That sounds... Drum roll, please. <laughs> Don't wanna close my eyes. I said that again. I don't wanna fall asleep because I miss you, baby. Because I. <laughs> Come on. What? How's it going? Cause I. Oh. <laughs> I've added in a syllable. I do not want to fall asleep. <laughs> I do not want to close my eyes because I miss you, babe. And I do not want to miss a thing. <laughs> so, so upper class oh, English I'm, of you. <laughs> <laughs> because even when I hold you close. Yes, 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 yes! I'm not the musician in this So movie. proper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, my pants are falling down. Reggie, Reggie John Page. Do you know who he is? Mm, no. So he was the, the evil CIA top guy? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, known for Bridgerton. Oh, he was from Bridgie. Yeah, so he left Bridgerton to do this show, this movie. Oh, that kind of been. He, he didn't want to be pigeonholed, I believe, into those well period dramas. Are they fucking? What's <laughs> <laughs> going on there? Lifted a uh, leg every time uh, he goes down. Yeah. Come on, get some. Mm, I'm gonna spray it with my spider web. Mm, come on. Uh, hey, Aunt, what's the news? <laughs> so, what'd you like about it? Graham it? Hmm. It's funny. It was. Didn't funny. take itself too seriously. Yeah. 
I think... No, I thought it was good. I thought everything that that film should have been, it was. Which is why I'm so shocked that it got so low. Yeah. I quite liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was it was funny. It pretty much just knew what it was, right? It didn't... Right. It, it kind of... Yeah. I, I, th- I thought it, everything they did in there, they were just like... They weren't so meta that they were acknowledging their faults or acknowledging the type of film it was or anything like that, but they just put the humour in there to break it up. Which, there was some funny shit in there. Yeah, and and they didn't put, like, the overtly funny slapstick humour in there. It was subtle, it was dark, it was really dry, and I think it really suited the film. <laughs> there were some maybe things that, like, breached the line of, like... Like, Red Letter Media would say, like, the Rick and Morty. Mm. Like, some things maybe went, like, a little bit like, Oh, hoop derp Someone's gotten through our defences. Yeah. And that sort of thing. But I don't think it did that too often. I think there was maybe one time where Chris Evans, like, sort of... Did he chop someone's hand off at some point, or...? Pulled fingernails out. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit full on. I Actually, say. I have to admit, I covered my eyes. The but- torture scenes in it were... I thought fucks my oh, fucking ass way, <laughs> Jesus. I actually thought the the whole Chris Evans um, storyline was gonna really get me down because I really hate torture. Or I thought his character was gonna take the whole torture thing too far. I thought they were going to go too far with it. I'm really uncomfortable with fuck torture in film or torture in general <laughs> torture is a plot device i don't i don't like it and i thought that they were going to ham it up um to get the views and i did to i think to an extent but they gave chris evans character a lot of humor and i thought that helped to ease the intensity of the situation a bit um to an extent i still covered my eyes it was pretty brutal. Like, they off-screened the torture. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to see it. I definitely didn't want to see it. That's but for sure. It's the same thing. Like, torture, torture and rape as a plot device is not good writing. What did we gain from that? Nothing. Only that he's... Yeah, no. Nothing. Only that he's willing to do it. Oh, a lot of people want to see that shit. They need the shock value. These to, fetishists, I tell you. Yeah. It's not Marathon Man. Like, we don't need to see this stuff anymore. Hmm. But, yeah, anyway. I thought... I thought it could have been a lot worse, basically. I thought Chris Evans' character... Like, he's obviously playing a, a bad guy, but he had something... There was something about him that made him funny, which was some sort of relief to the f- fact that he was a really cold-hearted, horrible villain. And I was okay with it in the end, as long as I didn't see any of the torture bits. It just about pushed me too far. But I was okay. Yeah. I survived. I survived the ordeal. Ryan Gosling, I thought, was funny. I thought his lines were funny. Whoever wrote that. Everyone um, had funny had pretty lines. Good, pretty good sense of humour. Um, there and um, The writing's actually the win here. What's her face? The, the girl Anna, in it. Anna de Adams? Yeah, she's great. I loved her character. I thought it was a really good character. I loved that she saved him. <laughs> yeah. I thought I think the writing's the real win here. Mm. I think. I love that she could drive a car, like, really well. <laughs> yeah. She fucking kicked the shit out of people Although, as well. she also could have been the grey man. When they well, said, she is a grey man in that film. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, she is It doesn't one seem of, like it. But she could have been the main one. dead. Oh, my fucking God! I think you're going to die. But yeah, I thought it was overall. I thought it was. Um, I thought it was really good. It's a good film. I think the only thing I kind of, for some reason, I got the feeling that the development of um, the relationship between the grey man and that? the little girl was not well established, not well developed. Yeah, it was borderline, borderline not well done. I reckon. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it could have been handled. Like, if this film was made in the nineties. Mm. I guarantee it would have been handled badly, that relationship. Oh, yeah. Would have it would been. have been... Winona Ryder... Oh, for fuck's sake. Winona Ryder... Oh, fucking... Come on! Shanked. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> it's getting late. <laughs> Let me get my backpack back.
So anyway, 49, do you reckon? What the fuck is this? Go in your house, go in your house. What the oh, fuck? Do you have another door? Jesus! I, I only have one door and it's where he is. <laughs> I'll make Jerry spider legs. He's leaving. Oh god, here he comes. Fuck off, dickhead. Hello, Brady. Holy smokes. Hello. Hello. Look at him walking out there. I can see his stupid fucking body. Oh, he's clipping through your house. Oh, he's coming, coming. Oh, he's trying to get you. What is this? <laughs> oh, oh, my wow. god. Can he get you from there? No, but he's never going to get un because I'm oh right God. here. Oh, he's un <laughs> What would you give Grey Man? Do you reckon 49's right? Alright, so here's my thinking. I think that film should be... You give him a 1 to 10, not a 100. Out of 10? 10 is you should see it. You should absolutely see this film. This is one of the best films ever made. 9 is you should see this film... Oh, I think it's one of the best films ever made. <laughs> 8 is I think... This film appeals to a, a broad amount of people, and mm. it, is, it is really good. One of them, I think, it is below that. Yeah, I agree. I, I was kind of thinking the seven to eight range. I think seven is if you like watching movies mm. and you like them well done. I think this is a film you'd like. I think this, I, I would this give this a, a seven. I'd give it a seven as well. Yeah. Well done action film. Yep. I reckon. And this is on my scale. A six is still a good film, mm. and a five is a average film. Yeah, perfectly average. Yep. A four is less than average. A four <laughs> is like a La La Land, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something Some less than average. Some of Ryan Gosling's average. other films. Yeah. <laughs> a three yeah. is like you're getting into territory that's not very good. You shouldn't be watching this unless you're like having a schlocky sort of. Yeah. Not. Two, okay. you might as well go from three to one. <laughs> <laughs> no, why don't we rate things where five is the average? <laughs> I don't know why it's got a less than 50% on Metacritic. I think it probably deserves a tad more than that. Well, I'm going to press a button that says the stream ends. So, so long. Thanks for watching. Oh, I've got to do my sign out.